COVID has really changed the dialogue related to pharma. And you can really see consumer perceptions have been shifting um, since the start of the pandemic. One of the most interesting things that we found is that pharma rose to the top as an industry kind of where it is most important. And so we decided to take the opportunity this year to actually dive deeper into that and to do a pharma specific brand authenticity index. We surveyed over 1,800 consumers. We asked about 19 different pharmaceutical brands and ultimately found four pillars that really are creating those connections. The first is brutally honest. The second is constantly consistent. The third is explicitly moral. And the last is unapologetically transparent. You know, patients are becoming much more involved in their decisions uh, and the cho their healthcare choices. And putting a medicine in your body is a serious business, right? So I, I, I do think that uh, we can't underestimate the consumer or the patient. Um, but my second point would be, why not be authentic, right? It, it, it kind of just feels right. I mean, a lot of things that you do in business kind of match up, I think, to supporting those, the four pillars you talked about. You hire people that, that are, feel passionate about this, this mission or vision, they unify and, and then decisions and, and prioritization choices become a lot easier. If you do that also with the authentic brand, right? What we are as a brand, it's the key to good business results. Consumers want tools and not solutions, I would say, because they want they want to participate. Uh, they want to be in the whole journey with us together, uh, with the doctor, with the whole healthcare um, environment. So therefore, in my opinion, brand authenticity in pharma becomes more and more important. The authentic story of a pharma company therefore has to be tangible, accessible, relatable and very much personal. Emotion becomes the protagonist in the authentic story that we should be telling to consumers. Um, and emotion stories which can consistently focus on transparency, on honesty, on integrity, they can produce powerful results for the brands. You definitely don't want patients or consumers to think you're inauthentic because it's <laughs> huge, huge distraction for you. And if they think a particular pharma company or pharma brand is inauthentic, that's going to be a real problem. And so if this group is already hesitant, um, being transparent, um, being brutally honest is so even more important to try to help them kind of overcome their hesitancy and kind of see you as authentic or trustworthy. Making sure that when you communicate with them, you're aware of, of them and their, their background and how they think about things. And so you can talk with them or maybe at least to them in a, a relevant way. And so looking at our, even just our marketing team and, and thinking about diversity on our marketing team or when you do research, making sure you're really thinking critically about your respondents. It really starts with understanding, first of all, the BIPOC community really want to understand. I think that's where it starts. Now we have initiatives going on that really, um, you know, want to ensure the inclusivity on, of the underserved populations at the very beginning of our R&D process and then every step along the way. So, you know, going back to the authentic you know, we need to make sure that we continuously communicate exactly these types of activities and show them, you know, what, what the outcome is, what's working well, what's not working well. One way I think we're pretty successful doing it that we should continue to, to push on is patient support programs. I think a lot of them are, at least I can speak for my company, we put a lot of effort into those. Um, and I think they don't always get utilized as much as we we hoped, right? And so can we do that better? Um, maybe pay, now is a perfect time because patients are a bit more engaged, a bit more in tune to the pharmaceutical company. Looking into five to 10 years time, um, I think we're even more connected. Um, you know, transparency probably is being requested even more from a consumer's perspective. Probably partnerships becomes extremely important.